<laughs> oh, wait, whatever, we're here. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm more like, I mean, I'm, I'm annoyed because, like, my parents, I mean, they're young, too. They're in their 50s. Um, they live in Ontario, and I don't even think they have, like, a timeline to get vaccinated yet. And I'm like, that's freaking crazy, man. You guys are ancient. You're so freaking old. They haven't given you... Like, you could crumble into dust before they vaccinate you. Like, they gotta get on that immediately. Come on, man. Two saves! <laughs> it's sick that you're in your 30s and your parents are in their 50s. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. We, we are basically peers, for sure. But, like, in, in, as we get older, we essentially, I mean, like, by a proportional amount, we get closer to the same age. It's pretty cool. Like, we we can hang out. We have conversations that, like... I mean, there's a there's a dynamic, you know. They, they've been alive longer than me and also, you know, raised me. Like, so there's... there's I don't want to say there's no hierarchy there. I also don't want to say it's, like, purely hierarchical, but... It's, uh... It is neat. I'm, I'm thankful for it. Okay, we've been screwing this part up. Son of a... Please. I mean, I think it's, you know, with, with kids... You know, they're... I don't. I wouldn't say there's a right or a wrong way to do it, right? I think you you get pluses and minuses, both ways. Like if you wait till you we, we waited. I mean, we're probably like right in the average. It's that double save, baby. Like when we had our our kid, Kate was twenty eight and I was thirty one. Um, seems like maybe maybe slightly older than that, maybe like a year or two older than average, but, you know, the, uh, if you have, uh, kids when you're young, for the most part, you're gonna, you're probably gonna have a, some, you know, struggles, I think, when they're younger as well, because you're not gonna be as established, um, you know you're, you're gonna be busy, like, establishing your own career and stuff like that, potentially, but, you know, it pays off when they get older, you get to have kids that are you know, closer in age to you, but, you know, to have kids a little bit older, you know, I, I feel like it's actually worked out nicely for us, because, you know, I'm in a position where I can take a little bit more time off, actually, and and maybe be a little bit more of, like, a present dad than, uh, than I would have been able to do when I was, like, 20, 24 or 25. Dude, I think I screwed, oh my god, I screwed up the job again. How long have you been married? Like, uh, this will be seven years. It's pretty crazy. We outlasted the uh, uh, Kanye and Kim. They they got married the same year as us, I think, and now, like, get toasted. I <laughs> just say get toasted. But, hey, they're probably going through some hard stuff right now. I'm just saying, you know, like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I deserve that one. Come on, just get me back there. Kanye's Revenge. What a song, man. Anyway, that's all I got. I mean, there's like no anecdotes. I was at the grocery store yesterday. That was that was cool. Bought some almonds. That's that's my anecdote of the week. They were pretty cheap. That's the other part of the anecdote. And I don't know if anybody else lives near like a TNT supermarket. There's uh, I think there's like 20 of them in, in Canada. Man, that's the best place to buy mixed nuts. That's all I'm saying. Like if you go to a, a grocery store in Vancouver, 
kilogram of almonds, probably going to cost you like 20 bucks. TNT, $11.99. It's crazy. $11.99 for a kilogram of mixed nuts is like a deal. Plus, I didn't even have to put it in one of those bags. I got, you know, it comes in its own like plastic jar, which is just, it's nicer to eat them out of a jar than one of those like bulk section bags. Let's go. I've been dying for ketchup chips. We don't have them in Chicago. I, it, I think it's one of those things I take for granted, you know? Because I could get ketchup chips at any time. I, like, never eat them. Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm trying to delete it. I, uh, I mean, I don't love ketchup chips, but... You know how there's chips that are, like, salt and vinegar? Ketchup chips are kind of, like, sugar and, and vinegar. They're like, they're sweet and a little tangy. They're, they're pretty good. I like ketchup chips. They do, like, they ruin your, uh, your fingers, though. They end up coated in, like, crimson dust. It's like you just hero landed on the surface of Mars. I don't even like ketchup, really, but ketchup chips are delicious. You get gamer, gamer finger. <laughs> Any red chip will do that. Yeah, but these are like, it's a special dust. Let me just put it that way. And it's it's actually nice if you want to like you know lick it off later. You know, it's a little flavor bonus you could say, but. Why get ketchup when you can get sour cream and onion? I, you know, I'll say it every time. I'll, I'll keep saying it when it keeps getting brought up. If anybody out there is like me, I thought I was unique here. Apparently it happens to lots of people. Um, if I eat, like, a couple of salt and, uh, or not salt. A couple of sour cream and onion potato chips, my stomach starts to feel weird. It's, it just, I don't know what it is. Like, I just start to feel off. If, I like the flavor, don't get me wrong, but I just start to feel strange the more of them that I eat. When I eat other potato chips, you know, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I feel like I'm like, oh, this is awesome. I feel like I'm in peak physical condition, but it's a different thing. Like, I, it's not a weird stomach feeling like the, some, maybe like the powdered dairy or something. Dude. I, I, I don't know if I could have handled that. Just let me get to the castle safe. Like, we need some momentum. I'm a little cheesed, man. I'm a little cheesed. We never had that problem before. I think we've gotten so good. We're, we're standing too close to the hinge, too. You're right. <laughs> standing too, too close to the hinge. Did you ever meet your great-grandparents? Yeah, I think I, I mean, it was like I was very young, you know? But I, I met definitely at least two of my great-grandparents. Because, I mean, the whole, the, my family on, on that side, like, they were having kids, like, super early. Like, my grandma, she's only, I, I know, I, I say this a lot, and, and people sometimes think I'm, like, getting it wrong. She's not even 80 yet. And I'm 32, so like, she had three kids, and I think she was done having kids, like, by the time she was 20. <laughs> I think she had, like, she had a kid at, like, 16, 18, and 19, or something like that. And then she was like, that's enough of that. So my, my grandma's still, like, she's, she's quite young, honestly. There you go. There you go. Do you see right in the bullseye? Imagine trying this in 2021. Do you mean Alt F4 or having three kids as a teenager? Because I, I do watch a lot of TLC. It's still happening. I don't know, like, like the teenage pregnancy shows, like, I, I don't want to, like, 
it's punching down to some extent for sure. But it is crazy, like, <laughs> like it's so rude to say. When, when you're like a 16 year old guy and you hear like, you know, maybe somebody your age is having a kid, you're like, that's super early, but whatever, I'd like figure it out. When you're 32 and you see a 16 year old boy and he's like at the, he's at the doctor's office and they're talking about like what they're going to do with the baby. I'm like, you're wearing like, you're wearing like a, like a, a ski do hat and like, like, uh, <laughs> just like your clothes don't even fit right and stuff like that. I'm like, come on, man. You're not ready for this. You like, your pants don't even fit, dude. Here we go. I know, it, like, it's I'm not saying you can't make it work. I'm just saying it's, like, you, you, you gotta learn a lot fast. And, I mean, like, the best way to learn is, is on the job. Don't get me wrong. But, like, they're like, yeah, I think I'm ready. And I'm like, dude, you are, like, not ready. You don't even have your learner's permit. I don't mean like you have to drive to have a kid, but it definitely helps. <laughs> definitely helps. I mean, like... Okay, here we go. Let, let's get some momentum here. We got an hour and 40 minutes left. I'm not saying they're they're doomed at all. Like, I, I there was some... I mean, in my high school, there were some teenage pregnancies, and, like, I'm sure that, you know, the first little bit was like horrible you know it was a big adjustment but you know by all accounts before I deleted Facebook it seemed like they they had done a you know they, they'd gotten it together and had like you know a happy family but definitely like you're, you're going uphill come on man I thought we were getting busted over to the other side Cannon was just slightly off. The only thing that bothers me... Oh, we're gonna have a triple save over there. That's pretty sick. Maybe that's the strat. I, I wouldn't say it bothers me, but I'm just like... It's not as funny as they think it is. Like, there's this show, I think it's called Unplanned. Which, again, I, I think I told a joke about it like several months ago. But when they do interviews with them... With the kids who... Well, the teenagers, I guess, who are like, you know, expecting... They should not call the show unplanned because every interview they're like, so were you like using any kind of like contraception or whatever? And they're, they just look at each other and laugh and go like, um, <laughs> what do you think? No, dude, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, uh, they ask them why and they're like, uh, well, it doesn't feel as good. Like, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> They're not selling a lot of contraceptives because it, like, it, you know, enhances the experience. <laughs> but I am like, man, you know, like... It's crazy. I can't imagine... Having a kid at 16. I mean, I, I think it's one of those things where, like, you get ready real quick, but... I even think it like at like 26, I would, you know, I'm not gonna say I would, oh, it would be like dangerous, but it, it would be more of an adjustment. At 31, I was like, this is just, you know, I never want to leave the house again anyway. It's it's totally fine. Yeah, we got. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't want to go off on a rant. I was gonna say we got 16 year olds in chat who like argue with me that they don't have to brush their teeth. Uh, in the morning because they already brush them at night. So, you know, how did my- it's not like I was eating ice cream in my sleep, so why should I have to brush my teeth twice a day? <laughs> you know, that's- you, you don't want to have to deal with those kind of existential questions and then also be like, oh, I got this baby to feed. All right, great- it, it, just impatience, man. Just impatience. What the heck? I got stuck on, on the kebab. I had a baby at 25, but uh, I was like 50 in my brain already. Oh my god, it's just, it's pure impatience, man. Don't I hear you? 
I mean, like, I'm not gonna say, like, oh, you should never have a kid before age whatever. Like, I think it's different for, for everybody. Uh, there's some people who probably, like, you know, should just never have them, to be honest. <laughs> you know, there's some people where you're like, you know, you, you're not, you're not ready for this. You gotta get, you haven't yet gotten purchase over your own life. Let's not add any more complications into this quite yet. Come on, man. Anyway, I mean, it's a very personal decision, of course, as well. Basically, I'm like, everybody's laughing, but like, I'm kind of being an a hole about it, that's for sure. Yeah, night 26 isn't ready for kids, but night 30, oh yeah, he's gonna be... He's gonna be prepared. Surfing, 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 surfed. Everybody's laughing, everybody's pogging, everybody's having a good time. Everybody's subscribing, everybody's cheering, everybody's having a great time. But it is being a jerk. We gotta acknowledge there's some, there's some jerkiness. Everybody's saying, they're typing in chat, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> We'll be taking low path by design. I think I just get, pulled something in my throat. Dang, it's like a weird feeling. Feels like I just swallowed a penny. <laughs> it was weird. Okay. Here we go. Patience. Patience. Go. Beautiful timing. We, he just man moded it. Okay, how many? I, we got a million saves. We could probably just touch the far one. There you go. And you, you save the other two at least. Which is probably going to be one. Do, do, do. Poggy! He's just made the corner. Well, if, if you touch more than one save, I don't think it gives you the effect of more than one save. So I, I think that's why I only want to touch one. I, that's the, the, the pretense I've been laboring under. And the, uh, I'm prone to making some mistakes. I don't know why this section has now become impossible for me. No, don't get up. I think we only... No, that looks like two. We hit two of them. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Jump in too early? Yeah, but like, I mean, you know, I, I recognize that this is how she goes, but you know, we were jumping too late before and we were clipping our head on the freaking door frame. Yeah, no, no Tom Glancy. A little close. That just felt, that felt beautiful. And then you stay left side of door. And then Facebook, I like it button. And then 30 to 50 feral hogs. Okay. Saved. Oh, it's been a bit. It's been a bit. Yeah, Ryan, when's the next merch drop? I'll, I'll hit you up, Jay. I gotta... I'm trying to figure out, like, what the poggest day of my schedule is. I'm trying to... I'm running a pog analysis right now. Can we, can we just do, like, an instantaneous launch whenever I reach the end of Alt F4? Live. <sighs> that was scary. No, sorry, I just, I can't stop singing this one, man. This is the good one. Chip, by the way, I saw you in here earlier. You're you're weak. You're a, you're a, you're a weak coward. I saw you were playing this for like an hour. You went into the settings menu, turned down the music. After an hour? It's part of the fun. The madness is part of the fun. That's like what that's the Joker. The Joker said that. I'm not bullying Chip. Chip bullies me. He compares me to Jeff Bezos. 
which is we're both bald and freaking jacked as heck. We both like to eat reptiles. It's definitely true. And rich? No, okay, so like calling Jeff Bezos rich, you know, it's like saying like Thanos is strong. You know, like he's <laughs> it's a little beyond that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, hold on. Moving up. Moving up. Moving down. Good landing. Good landing. Shouldn't have glanced. Shouldn't have glanced there. He's leaking a little bit. That's all right, though. Yahoo? Yahoo! Sorry. I, I hate it when they sing. Now, there's, a, there's an ancient meme. Good send. All right. Once, once you get it up here, the only thing you have to watch out for is the little, the little saws. This, you get a good cycle on the saws, you're up to, to save zone. Um, I, I don't mind this. I don't mind this cycle. I disagree. I disagree. Saved. Saved by the spinner. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Compassion. Just like we planned it, yeah. Because then we get the practice for free down here. Didn't even use our save and we get the practice for free. I know, by the way, there are some people, they're, they're basically like, they're only watching out of a sense of obligation right now. They're like, oh man, I really wish you get back to playing like loop here. I really wish you get back to... I, I respect that. We should check out Fiend Folio, blah, blah, blah. Um, it just has to be done. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's, you know when you're like itchy, you gotta scratch it. And this game is a cerebral itch. I, I can't return to... I, I, I can't make the docket rid of it yet. It has bewitched me, body and soul. Beautiful. This is my favorite new content. <laughs> we haven't had a silly game like this make it on the docket too much recently. I think these are going to be out of sync, which is what we want. Because they're tra oh no 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 they're they're. I don't trust it. I'm going down one. They give you a, a it's a generous window. Okay, this is our attempt now. You got to accomplish two things at once here. Very well done. I think we have to, I'm not even looking back. We had plenty of time. Look at that. Whoo, <laughs> almost almost got sliced up a bit there. Come on, man. Whatever, this part's easy. Chiluminati curve barrels. Don't sweat them. Don't sweat them. Don't sweat them. All right, temple guards. Temple guards don't bother me. Big miss, big miss. Okay. The cryptid barrels. <laughs> Watch out, watch out for the, the, the Randy Johnsons. They drop one. Good stuff. Just dodge it. I'm not even touching that save for a, for a freaking minute here. Whatever. We're making the next set. We already know we're making the next section anyway. This section's easy. Okay, we gotta watch out for the fish, obviously. Don't get fish? Don't know. I... Look, get out of here, ooh, Barracuda. Ooh, <laughs> Barracuda. 
You already know this is the run. It's already been broadened. Okay. Don't die to fall damage on the super jump. Beautiful super bounce. And Orlando. We made it to Ann Orlando. Okay, but there's no save here. <laughs> you gotta get through this section to get to the save. We made it back to the dancer, though. Can't stop, can't, can't stop doing the song thing. Okay, saveless runs. Saveless. I wonder if you spun around fast enough, you could get enough momentum to get over this, and then get onto that, do a little skip. I think it's plausible. Just chill. Speed is the name of the game. The less amount of times you get exposed to these bullets, the happier you're gonna be. Let's go, let's go. Okay, this is where... You know what? Let's just celebrate. We're in uncharted territory. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Excuse me, I need to use the bathroom for a second. I can't believe I got single tapped by it. You know what? I have, I have some dandy pack almonds first. Hey, if you're watching and you enjoy the stream, follow me. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm gonna leave you with the music though, because it's incredible. It's one of the best songs ever written. Yeah, follow me, follow me. Follow, 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 etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. See you in just a second. Bald, bald, bald. Wait, he's bald? The game was muted this whole time? Oh, only when I alt-tab to unmute. Almonds, baby! I used to think you were crazy. Now I can see you're nuts. Anyway, moving on. Gaming. Powering up. Neurons online. 
sorry, sorry. Come in bed. I prefer cashews. Yeah, me too. I'd also love if you gave me a trillion dollars so I could buy some. Okay, they're not that expensive, but they, they do tend to be more expensive than the average nut. It's a hard jump. It's a hard one. What would you do with the remaining million? But um, well, uh, only if I bought them at Whole Foods. Um, all nuts are good. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I feel like I, I've never had a good walnut in my whole life. Like, I, I feel like, I maybe like. If, if they're roasted, and then put in like a salad with some goat cheese, you can get a sick walnut. Any walnut I've ever had, like, you know, straight out the nutcracker, always is like weird and like mealy and sour and... I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the walnut, honestly. I do like pistachios okay, for sure. Yeah, I like pistachios. Really? I, th I thought we had incredible momentum there. Um, you tell me I've been eating raw, or not raw, but I've been eating rotten walnuts this whole time? I will say most of the time that I had walnuts, it would be like I'd go to my grandparents' house for Christmas and they would just bring out like the same like, container of, of uncracked nuts that they've had since probably, like, the 1980s. Yo, thank you as well for the... Thank you for the cheer. Craven Calico, thank you. My grandparents do that, too? I know the phrasing here, but, like, the phrasing is not as gross as the concept, you know? Like, I, I guess you've been eating some dusty-ass walnuts. You've been eating some, some dusty... Some dusty nuts, man. I feel like that's you know what now you got me thinking. What what's the one that kind of looks like an acorn? You know, it's a it's a nut. It kind of looks yeah hazelnuts. Thank you. I've never been a big fan of hazelnuts outside of the Nutella um, context either. Wait a minute, are walnuts in in baklava? Baklava is pretty sick, but I'm pretty sure that most of the sickness is due to, like, honey. And then the other sickness is due to the pastry, and then the other sickness is due to, like, sugar. But baklava is delicious. This might... Oh, dude, no, they're gonna, they're gonna be synced up. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. We gotta wait a little. Dude, I haven't been to that Turkish bakery in forever. I need some simit. I need some, uh... That's, you know, oh, why would you jump there, though? First thing I do, me and the boys get vaccinated. Go get some simit. What are you doing? <laughs> Joy, you've used the one twice. You know that video? I'm not, if you can't, if you don't look back, the saw can't get you. Is that like meat with an S? Maybe it's called a Semit. It's basically like a Turkish bagel. We don't die here anyway. It's uh it's it's got a much larger circumference than you know your classic New York or Montreal style bagel. Um but it's also much thinner. Mm, saved. So it's like a, it, it's almost like, imagine like a, a freaking Fruit Loop, like a, like a bread Fruit Loop. And then it's just absolutely freaking coated in sesame seeds. It's delicious. Um, almost blew it right there. I know there's a save there, but you know, we can save ourselves. Save yourself, man. The only thing, I don't know, I still, like, I can't get out of my head that... 
Usually, like, a little thing of baklava, like a, like a single roll, is like... I don't know if you, you would call them rolls, but... It's like three or four bucks, man. And you can demolish that in a, in a couple of bites. A great dessert, but tends to be somewhat expensive here, for sure. Also, not very good for you, of course, but... And 600 calories? Yeah, no, you're not wrong, but it is delicious, though. I'm, I'm mostly missing those submit, though. Oh, man. Now you got, oh, you got me rooting for him. And then we would always get, like, multiple submit, but then, like, they're really good on day one. On day two, they're, like, okay, and on day three, they're frickin'... They, they're not sending their best at that point. Let's put it that way. Oh, but you know that and some Turkish coffee? <laughs> Saved. Saved! Okay, good, good. The Stoiko, Stoiko! Let's go! But I don't want to go there. Are you crazy? Don't shoot me! <laughs> no, no, no. 